What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Jay Reed for Jay Reed's Love, of course. So check this out. This video, I'm gonna be giving you a quick tip, a quick tip about how to save yourself some money. Now, here's the thing. If you're anything like me, you don't care about no TPMS sensors. I drove my car for years and years with bad TPMS sensors. And what I mean by that is, you can be driving down the road and all of a sudden you get like three X's. It scares shit out of it. But eventually you get used to it and you realize it's just a bad sensor. Well, when I got my new rims put on my car, I decided to replace those all. Replace all of those, but I took a chance. And the chance that I took was, I got this shit off Amazon. Now let me tell you the story first to get into it. So I get the wheels put on right and the uh thought i already scratched him so i get the wheels put on and the shop called me and said man we tried to to link up these tpms sensors but you know one of them work and you know we have the expenses too and we just can't get them to link so i'm like yeah don't worry about it but at the same time i was like damn that's a, that's another problem i gotta deal with but i wasn't too concerned so these tpms sensors i got off amazon but i also got the scanning tool off amazon the calibration tool off amazon too so if they couldn't get it i knew i could bring the car back home and try it but i'm like at the same time if theirs didn't work what made me think this ten dollar amazon uh tool is gonna work well that motherfucker worked <laughs> for some reason they could not get them to work Man, it's been raining here. My car is super dirty. I hate it. So this is what I used right here. I bought this off Amazon. And if I have the links, I'll put it in the um, description. But essentially, I bought this off Amazon like 12 bucks, put a bit battery in it. And it worked, apparently it worked better than their high dollar tool. Now, the disclaimer is, it was not, this is just, just a local shop that I normally go to for stuff like tires. You know, they mounted up all my drag radios, so I know it. I know that they know what they're doing when it comes to those. So I pretty much take all my cars there for basic stuff. So I had a feeling that they probably didn't know how to uh, how to get these new sensors in sync with the Corvette because there's a certain procedure you have to do. Now they could have Googled it, but you know, you working, you kind of Google shit. You just trying to do whatever it is you normally do that works. So, but I came home and I Googled the thing i'm going to show you real quick on how you can do that now it's not going to work with mine because my shit is already uh 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 uh, uh, uh resynced and i ain't fixing to mess nothing up just to make a video but i'll show you what i did i'm gonna show you that so here's what you do real simple so the first thing you want to do is make sure your car is on accessory mode and you'll know when it's on accessory mode because it'll be on accessory mode and your door chime and all that is going to start ding, 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 ding. Okay, so once it's on accessory mode, you take your remote and all you got to do is press the lock and the unlock down at the same time. So you put your hand right in there, ooh, like that. And you'll hold it until you hear your horn beep twice. Once you hear your horn beep twice, you will know you are in programming mode. Now, the next step you want to do yeah, it's come over here with this little cheap Amazon tool, right? And start at the driver's side front. That's all you gotta do. You start at the driver's side front, you find and you place this right above, like that at an angle, right at the TPMS sensor, which is your valve stem. Just place it right here and you hit that button, boom. You're gonna keep hitting that, it'll light up, and then you hit a horn beat. Once that horn beat, that one is programmed. And then you work your way over to the passenger side, do the same thing, then you come back to the driver's side rear, do that one, then you do the passenger side rear, do that one. Once you get all of those beeps and you do that, bam, your shit is programmed, as simple as that, and it only costs you, it only costs you a max of about $30. I don't even think I paid that. But I put a link below so you can see exactly the parts that I got that made this shit work. But this is just a real quick video to help somebody out. Because if you like me, we get tired of booging my nose. This is just a little video to help somebody out. Because if you like me, you get tires all the time. But you may never think to replace or want to deal with replacing TPMS sensors. Because you don't feel like spending a goo gob of money. Well, I just wanted to show you that you don't have to spend a goo gob of money to get them TPS sensors and to get them to work. Even when a shop can't do it, you follow that procedure, it's gonna work. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. This your boy, peace.